Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Spell Power rune on the Mage. Um, spell Power is one of the most exciting runes that there is. It's very passive, but it'll add to some pretty insane effects. Um, and so it's essentially Icy Veins Part 2. And you, you have to get a total of 20 books that you gather around the world in order to get the next one. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I have this weak aura that we are going to be using to help us find all of these runes. It's called Dumb Mage Books, and the ones in green are the ones that we have turned in already, and the ones in red are the new ones that we have to find. So the very first book that we are going to be getting is Demons and You, and it is located here at the Thunder Axe Fortress around 55 29 in Desolus, and it is inside of here and then once we are inside of here we are going to go um to the right and we are going to go right over here to this bench there are some mobs but i'm level 40 now so they might not pose too big of a threat you can loot it in combat so i'm just going to counter spell polymorph and then we are going to grab this book Alrighty, and then that is the first one. We are going to head out of here and head to our next book, which is going to be over in Dust Wallow Marsh. So I will see you guys when we get there. Alrighty, guys. So this next book is a Murloc book called Ra 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 Ra, and we are going to have to be here in Dust Wallow Marsh. It is about at 5622 at the bottom of this lake. So we have to then run in here and it's somewhere around this lake or up on this uh, like pedestal here. We're just gonna find this book, but be careful because even at 40, these murlocs are a pretty high level, but it is somewhere in this camp and we will get it. Um, so I think it's glowing right over there. So that it's by that campfire right there. Yep. So we have to run into this campfire and head right over there. We're just gonna do this like mages do, pull them all, and, and you know hope for the best, but probably die. Like I said, hope for the best, no dying here. So just be careful, there's a lot of murlocs you gotta kill. And you know, of course, that last one pulls right when we're trying to get the book. Wouldn't want to have it any other way, would we? Oh my, and then the dot just breaks that frost nova. And this dude's just gonna walk up and take it after not doing anything. Man, so lucky so lucky but luckily we can get it so we're right here bam that is how you get your guys's book i hope you enjoyed me uh you know murdering all those murlocs almost dying and pronouncing the raw 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 book but anyway guys i will see you at the next one Voop. Alrighty, guys so the next rune book um it's up here in thousand needles but I wanted to show you guys at 3137, this is where you uh, run up the area because it's all the way at the top uh, main encampment here. So I just wanted to show you how you initially run up here so then you're able to then run all the way across through all these bridges to then go get the uh, book inside the main encampment. So I'm going to go run all the way over there. You just follow the bridges and you'll get there. Um, and I'll see it when we get to the campment and the book. Alrighty, guys, so we made it into the main uh, building right here in the uh, area. It is about 3440 for coordinates, and the scroll is right in here. You can go ahead and just polymorph the reaver, and then you can grab this. Obviously, be aware of these levels. I am level 40 doing this, so your level may be varying, and it might be a little more difficult for you, depending on what your level is. 
But that is that for that rune. And now we are onward to Eastern Kingdom. So we are just going to go ahead and jump off this cliff and hit the teleport at the end. So I will uh, see you when we get there. Alrighty, guys. Our next book is Defensive Magics 101. And it is in this tower right here north of Tarn Mill at about 50 60 on the map for your coordinates it is a pretty easy to get book the elites aren't here yet it, the elites are further into the area so you don't have to worry about it too much but you just come in right here and the book is sitting right here on the table there or crate so just very nice and easy to get it like that Alrighty, so we are going to now head to our next rune or er, book, which is in Arathi Highlands. So I will see you when we get there. Alrighty, guys. So in order to get our next book here in Arathi Highlands, you have to run right into this little hut right here. We are at coordinates about 7364. It is inside this hut. Well, we actually have a solid chest right here. So we're going to get that first because, you know, might have some big loot in there. Of course, it did not have big loot, but here is the scroll that you're going to want to get right here, just outside of this hut. So there we go, Web of Lives, Debunking Myths and Legends. Next, we are going to go to the Badlands, and then to Stranglethorn Vale, and then we will have all the Phase 2 books for our rune. So I will see you guys at the next one. Alrighty guys, so for our next book, we are here in Kargath at about, or not Kargath, the Badlands, at about 5642. It's up on top of this hill, there's a crypt right here. I don't know if this is new or what it is, I've never really interacted with this thing. But inside this crypt, there is a dead dude on a throne, and there is a scroll here that you can get. But it doesn't look like anything else that I can interact with, but the scroll right there is your book here and next we will head to the last one for phase two books and that is going to be in strangle thorn veil so i will see when we get there Alrighty, guys so the next phase two book that we are going to get is in strangle thorn veil we are at 41 49 in this basilisk area the rune it could be or the scroll could be in the cave but it is not it is right here at this um broken down stuff be very careful these basilisks are level 41 so i'd highly recommend being max level to do this but if you are not max level um it can be a little difficult to get them but we got that now we're going to kill this basilisk and then we go to swamp of sorrows for the very last rune that we have to get for our spell power so i will see you there in a bit Alrighty guys, so we have arrived at the final rune that we need to get. We are here at the Follow Sanctuary in Swamp of Sorrows. And now this one is a very interesting book because this book is locked in a cage that you see right here. And I don't think there's a way to click on it through the uh, cage. Yeah, so it says item is gone. So you have to farm... Oh, no, JK. We actually are able to get it through the cage. That's crazy. So, normally you're supposed to kill these guys and get the cage. But as you saw right here, I just went right by the door and I spam clicked on it through the cage. And we weren't able to get our book. But if you want to get the key, if they patch that for whatever reason, you just kill these lost ones and they have a chance to drop that. Alrighty, guys, now that we have all the books, we are going to go to Undercity, turn all these in, and wrap it up. So I'll see you when we get there. Alrighty, guys, so we are here to turn it all in all of our books. But before we do that, there's one thing I want to explain to you guys. So in Phase 1, you only needed 10 books. There were three faction-specific books, and there were nine neutral books that you could get, meaning there were a total of 12 books in Phase 1, whereas in Phase 2, there are a total of 8 books that we need to go and get. In this video, I showed you all 8 Phase 2 books that we needed to get. I, and probably like most of you guys, once you got to 10, you stopped, because you were like, oh, I just need 10 for Icy Vein. I'm not going to go get all 12. 
So if you did that, you would need to go get two of the phase one books in order to get this rune. For me, that was the one in Duskwood, and that was the one in um, Westfall. But that could vary for so many people. It really just depends which ones you didn't go and get in phase one. So now we then turn in all of these books. And then we will hopefully have our runes. So I'm going to turn on automate quests. And then I'm just going to click this. Turn in all of these books. And we get nice comprehension charms for it. And there we go. So after we've turned them all in. You get greater friend of the library complete. And engrave boots spell power. So we got 10 more comprehension charms for the 10 books we turned in and we get engraved boot spell power which is probably one of the best runes in uh for us right now for pumping single target damage so anyway guys that is how you get the spell power rune if you have any questions i try my best to explain it all here at the end so you guys could really understand it and be able to get all the books but if there's any questions you have definitely drop it down below in the comments i will do my best to answer but until next time i'll see you later hope you have a great day Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.